Hey everybody, how are you? Okay, today this design it's going to be a Dutch hunt. It's a dog. Those dogs that are pretty loud. <laughs> so this is what we're gonna do today. And uh, let's see. Uh, you know, there's you know like kind of this is the idea, but we're gonna probably modify some things. For example, I make these legs separated, but I think it will be better if we put together this. Uh, Leg. So this idea maybe will be a good idea to be out from here, from the feet. That's what I mean to say, the feet. And then this part that are more separated in the back. You will see, I'm talking about the feet, because if you notice, the brown here, it's together. You see the loops? And in here, it's separated from a bubble. So I'm thinking this type of feet can go in the back, and this type of feet together can be in front. So that's, I think, that I'm going to do this time and the eyes look at the eyes it's black so it's hard to see it that's why i put you know kind of like white um little you know dots to make it appear there the eyes and that's the idea let's start it you will need uh five balloons but maybe you can make it with less of that if you use some um scraps so let's do this i think i like it i had to make a centerpiece for a birthday boy and he loved his dog and that dog is a, what is, dash hunt, um, dash hunt, yeah, <laughs> let's do that. Now, we are going to start with a black 260, let me see which one is better. Mm, I'm thinking, you know, it's better if you use a black right now that is inflated, let me see, like eight finger tail, okay? Now we're gonna make this four finger bubble, another four finger bubble, Place it together, then you're gonna make another four finger bubble and you're gonna pass it through the between those two bubbles. And then you look every time I twist it before, I always squish, don't forget that because blacks are very uh, picky color, right? Picky balloon. So now you make another four finger bubble and you just pass it like this all together. Four finger bubbles, four of those all together there. Then you're gonna leave it there now you're gonna grab your 260 um what is this 260 mock around and what you're gonna do it's gonna be like this look like approximately four finger bubble let's go with that another four finger bubble and the other side of tail it's i said it like six finger tail oh, i remember wow my memory <laughs> now when you have that you're gonna make like um three finger loop another three finger loop and you have this so you're gonna connect this with this together and when you have that uh you are going to what are you gonna do here okay this is the thing we're gonna do here because i don't want to cut and pop you know and separate things this is what we're gonna do here this balloon black we're gonna squish the air, so squish and send it to here. So we're gonna squish them, but we need some there if you want. Why not? You can leave some balloon there, but it's very soft and squishable. And then I twist it a lot of time because what I'm gonna do here is we're gonna be like a two finger pinch twist. And I twist it a lot of time, so that way it's gonna be easy to open this mocha brown loops and pass it through. Pass it through. You know, and then when it's already up, you twist it around one more time so it's safe, secure. And now we're gonna go up with another um, soft bubble that is like four but soft, okay? And that's how you're gonna do it. And you twist it all back right here. I like to twist it a couple of times so it's secure. So you have this. And the thing, these dogs, you know, have the nose a little bit, like a little bit going down. That's what I noticed. So um, now when you have this, okay, you have this, you're gonna now make two finger bubbles with these two bubbles, the brown and the black, the brown and black. Okay, like that's approximately two, like this, if you put your fingers there, mm -hmm. okay, now, you're gonna grab the brown and you're gonna make, I like to make three pinch twists. You can make two if you want, but I like to make it three so it looks like the chest because these dogs are 
short, but they have like a big chest and they have short legs. So I'm gonna make the, the chest, it's gonna look like three pinch twist. But again, it's all up to you. You can try with two pinch twist and see what happens. Okay, so you have this now. Now from here, you can uh, measure how long you want your dog. So that's kind of like what I did. And you can make it very long. It's up to you. So I'm gonna grab from here, for example. I see like, oh, this is gonna be the body. Look, one, two, three, four. So four times four, 16 finger bubbles. And then you twist them. And look, it is kind of like here uncomfortable to see this open, but we're gonna close it when a balloon is gonna come here to here. You will see. So, um. Then you can make a pinch twist with this, it's optional. I'm just gonna make it a pinch twist here. Yes, and then the rest we're gonna pop them. So, and then with this, I'm gonna make uh, two pinch twists. Yep. And that's how we are gonna do. Because the tail, I'm gonna make it with a 160 black. So, I'm just making pinch twists here. So, this is gonna be the booty. And I'm just popping the bubble that I don't want, pass it around, tie it all together. So what I'm doing at the end, in the bottom, in the back, the booty, it's going to be one pinch twist with the mocha brown and two pinch twists with the black. You have this. That's going to be the booty. So we have all that. Now, next balloon, we can start uh, using, let's go with uh, the second black 260. And... What we're gonna need to do, let me think, is up, then go down, and then go up, and then down. We can do that. Okay, so that's what we're gonna, no, that's not what I'm gonna do. That. We're going to go, let me think, because I wanna use it, you know, in the best way possible, <laughs> this balloon. So we can go up here, like we can measure, like a short, because it's a short leg, it's gonna be four finger bubble. And this balloon, I don't want to forget, it's inflated, eight finger tail. Four finger bubble, we are going to start from that booty, we twist it, and then we're going to go all the way, all this long. The same long as with the 16 finger bubble, yep, yeah, that's what we're going to do. And then from here, you can, um, I think I did a mistake. Oh, I hate it. I hate it because the thing is we can probably be doing the legs and that will be easier, but no, well, ah. okay. So this is what we got. I'm gonna cut this. I'm gonna feel frustrated because it's all about see it in your mind first and then show you, but I am not focused. So see if I can be focused. I know. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna leave it like this. I cut the balloon wide because we're gonna still use it, yes. But we're gonna grab that. Maybe it will be easier and you can see things better if you make and use first the 260 mocha brown for that feet. Um, so this is what I did. The first feet was, you know, like like this. Uh, I don't get it. How many, I say? Oh no, nine finger tail. <laughs> I don't remember. Oh my goodness, what's going on? Okay, I need some coffee. I need coffee. Okay, now you have this, then you're gonna make the, you know, it's like a two or three finger loop, pinch twist, bubble, one bubble there, another uh, two or three finger loop, and then a pinch twist, and that's gonna be two feet. You cut, you don't get rid of this yet because with the last part here, we're gonna make a loop, like a two or three finger bubble uh, loop, right pedal, Pinch twist and another pedal, kind of the same idea. The same set back. This time, I'm not leaving um, the two spa the spaces, the space bubble in between. No, I just do it like this, okay? So, you cut the balloon, and with this, look, this is the thing. You probably don't gonna have much. And it's not like you will need much, but um, unless you don't wanna use a balloon scrap, you can just make a one finger bubble, pinch twist, and then you're gonna make another one finger bubble, pinch twist. So it's not like we have a lot of balloons, so I'm just pushing it. Maybe you can grab a balloon scrap. That will be probably easier. 
But this is what I'm doing right now. It's gonna be for the eyebrows. And it's not like you need a lot, but I'm pushing it. Maybe instead of uh, to make those bubbles for the feet, like two finger loop, we just make it like just very small because you just need to do this. Pinch twist, two pinch twists with a little bit of space in between. So you can grab a balloon scrap or, or you can do like this because I have very strong fingers. <laughs> <laughs> but um, that's up to you, okay? Um, maybe, yeah, the feet may be maybe too big. Maybe you can make it a little bit smaller. But I remember those dolls have very big feet, like the claws, right? A big, but they're short. Interesting. Okay, now with the rest, remember the black 216. So what we're going to do here, it's, uh, we need to make one more leg here. <laughs> Crazy me. But I want you to see this idea. So from here, I grab the rest. And I'm just gonna make a loop that covers, you know, all this together. Look. And that's when I'm gonna twist it. So you have very short legs. You have that chest. And you tie it. That's the only thing I did is go around. Okay, and then you cut. So you have some tip here to touch the leg. But with this part, that's the thing. I don't know why here, you see, you have to kind of, but you have four finger bubble and you need another four finger bubble. So maybe what happens if um, I'm going to tie this together just because it's going to be easier, I think. Uh, or maybe not. No, I remember now. Yeah, you see, I'm, I'm all the time thinking like, trying to, but you have this and then you're going to have to connect the other one right here. This one, the new one. You just need four finger bubble, but for, I'm gonna just attach it here, the last plug of 260, just leave it there, attach it there, and you have one leg longer than the other one. <laughs> it's fine, don't worry. We're gonna go with this part, and this is the, the thing that I'm doing, and it's gonna be here in the front, okay? This part of the 260, together this loop, that's gonna be here. And I like that way, so then you see, um, they have the paws, this type of dogs looking like this. No, like this, no, like that, you know? So that's how it looks in the front now. And in the back, these ones are separated. So we're gonna put one in each pinch twist. Okay? So remember, this is four finger bubble. This one have to be four finger bubble. So we're gonna measure it in the moment. So then twist it and then here four finger bubble. And maybe if you make it with three finger bubble would be even better, yeah. Um, we just look here, tie them, and that's it. That's the design. Um, let me see what um I can do here. Like for example, um, the pinch twist is also helping you kind of accommodating the whole idea of uh, the neck, you know. And this can be looking in the front. It's up to you. The idea is like. For example, um, this back, you decide which part you like there to be in front. But I'm leaving it this way, you see? Um, here, for example, if you don't like this to be the hole, you can always open it and push this a little bit so it kind of give it this shape, look, this idea. And it's up to you, but it give it this silhouette here, and here's gonna be a tail. So the last balloon we need is gonna be a 160 black. So look at this, look at this, look at that. Okay, now let's do the black part. What? Okay, we're gonna need like five finger loop. Yeah, inflate it, the tail. Let me tell you, <laughs> seven finger tail. And you're gonna inflate it like five finger loop. And then you're gonna make two pinch twists. I like two pinch twists. So. Because one, it may get and twist. That's why two pinch twists is better. And you just pass it between these two bubbles. You see, this is two in front and behind. You're gonna pass it through there. And and you just leave it there. And now you're gonna go with the next part that is like what I do is a pinch twist, and then I'm gonna make two pinch twists. I just like that kind of like and it works for me. And then from here you make another five finger loop. Mm -hmm. And now I'm gonna make this video, this tutorial, this design in Spanish too. So there's gonna be two videos of this design. 
Now you cut it, don't get rid of this because with this you're gonna just make something else for the front, um, for the face of the dog and for uh, the tail. So don't get rid of that. Leave it for a moment and just locking things here, passing around, tidying. Another thing I like to do with the ears, it's like I like to bend it inside. So I do like inside bending. I think it looks cuter. Um, the same the other side, I bend it. So it's going more like this. I don't feel so cute. La, la, la. Now, and it's not done yet. So remember what we have. Um, we are going to use this. To make, um, did, did we have a little balloon scrap from the 260 black? I don't remember. But if it's not, maybe we can do it with this. You just need to pass, attach it right here. So you just attach it right here on top. And you can pass it a couple times. So you just pull and pass it around a couple times. Um, and then you're gonna pass this all the way down, kind of a squishing and pass it down. You see, that's it. That's gonna be our bubble with the 160 that is gonna touch the eyeballs and the eyebrows. And now you can cut. Look, we have all these for tail, but also eyeballs, right? So you can use a balloon scrub or you can just, let's see if we can try this. I'm gonna make like, uh, kind of like one and a half finger bubble. I'm gonna tie it and going to squish some air. You see what I'm doing is squishing some air there. And then I make another one and a half finger bubble, cut. And I just have only this part for the tail. If you want this size, it's not big enough, but it's a tail. So you tie it and you can use it for the tail or you can grab a balloon scrap. The thing is sometimes, like me, I like to save as much as possible balloons. <laughs> and if I can, if I have to use more balloons, I just use the scraps. But um, it's up to you. Some people, they just like to use balloons, new balloons all the time. I'm trying in that, like the saving idea because it's not like we have many parties, right? And we don't have many balloons to spend. So look, I just put those bubbles inside in between the 160 and now the eyebrows remember we made this with the balloon scrap or with um the leftovers of the 260 mocha brown and you're just gonna pass it through so it's like the pinch twist is much smaller than the eyeball so and then you just pass it through and that's it that's it you just put it on top and that's how you make those type of eyebrows for this type of dogs it's like seems like a lot of dogs have that type of eyes, but um, you can play. This is kind of going to give it some character to your uh, design. Play with how you want the eyes to be. So I'm going to give it like this. And look, then with Sharpie, white Sharpie, you just grab it and make some dots just because it's all black and it's better, you know, to have something there to represent. So I'm going to I just make a circle, I'm gonna show you, and then like three dots on top or on the bottom. You see? And this is the idea. I hope you like it. Please let me know in the comments what do you think about this design. Um oh wait, the design. It needs the tail. So now with the piece that is a 160, the left over of a 160, you just attach it there. And that's it. Now promise that's it. You can make some shape. Uh, and I'll leave it like that because it's very short. So this one I make it longer. So you decide which one is better for you. I think it's um, a little bit longer will be great. Maybe um, play with that, play uh, with the sizes of your balloon. But uh, this is the idea, this is the design. Uh, because it's long, I think I like to make, you know, the head, the side, look in one side. I think it looks cuter, don't you think? Oh yeah, babe. So I hope you like it and happy twisting. Bye bye. Hey, one more thing. If you like this video, if you are enjoying all of my videos here and this awesome YouTube channel about balloon twisting tutorials, don't forget you can always donate because all you give money, it's very well appreciated for this channel to be better, you know? So you go, um, Go donate to my uh, PayPal account at pataglobal at gmail.com. And 
I will appreciate it for sure. Thank you. Bye.